What up guys, it's your boy Push to Start and we are finally here with Heat 2 of Round 3 for the Prague Kart Championship. Now I do apologise it take me a bit longer to upload than it did my previous videos. Um, with work and editing and making sure I get all this right for you guys. Um, it does take a bit longer than I'd like. But uh, guys, it's finally here. Um, showdown in Suzuka. Um, sorry, showdown at Suzuka. As I said in my last video, I did pay homage to um, Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton from 2014, The Dude in the Desert. If you've not seen that race, um, well, where have you been? Uh, but <laughs> what I'll do for you guys, I'll leave the link in the description to the actual race to the F1 channel, because um, that is well worth a two-hour watch. What a duel that was. Actually being in this race and battling with Nick from start to finish, um, it did give me... Um, the dude in the dead of vibes hopefully guys you enjoyed this video um i do have a tendency to ramble on through my video so i'm not going to do that today so i'm going to just let you enjoy the race so just grab your popcorn put your feet up chuck this on your smart tv if you're going um it is well worth watching on a big tv instead of your phone or your laptop but 100 guys i'll let the race play out so i let the race play out and i hit you up as normal just before it ends
Yeah, he's got late. He turned in too late. He got the tyres. Button leaves the Grand Prix. So hopefully you enjoyed that race guys, believe me I did from start to finish. The battling with Nick was just, just unbelievable. Fair play to him, um, busted my balls from start to finish as Nicky would say. But uh, condolences to Cole Spin, because yeah, he probably should have won that race. But um, but the age old saying of one man's loss in the man's gain. Um, he won the last one anyway, so that doesn't matter, so I, I were not going to take this win. But uh, it, I just want to apologise to Nick as well for turn one incident. I generally, as you can see from the video, I generally didn't realise it was down my inside. Um, and if this was real, I'm not going to lie, mate. I, I, I would let the steward deal with it after the race. But so no hard feelings. Um, but yeah, I, I would not have stopped. I would have kept going, and then the stewards could deal with it after uh, post race. And it just goes to show, guys, no matter what situation in in life, or whether it's racing, or uh, you can apply this to anything. Don't ever give up. If you if you want something, go out and get it. But even when the chips are down, don't ever give up because you never know what's around the corner. Now, um, a bit of a life lesson there, I know. Gosh, shocking. How do we go from racing to a life lesson? But uh, well, this is the best video I have to date. I've just pure dueling, um, wheel to wheel, pure driving, pure racing, just me, Nick and Karts. Um, so I, I couldn't have asked for a better race, to be fair. And as you can see on screen right now, um, we've got the man himself, Senna, um, saying the exact same thing. Back to the championship. So, as you can see on screen guys, as of the 4th of July, 2020, I know, Team Sport are opening the doors back for races. Now, not that I'm against um, the whole sim racing or showdown finale or anything like that um, happening virtually. It's a lot easier for people, it's a lot cheaper for people. But I'd actually like to put out a 227 on Praga. Um, well, what if we actually have the final as an actual event, for example? I'm going to put a list on screen in the moment of every venue the team sort will be open as of the 4th of July. And just for argument's sake, 27 Praga, I will travel to any single one of these events as long as you can give me notice after their work, no, I'm going to have to book a hotel, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But you make this finale a live event in real carts, I can guarantee every single driver that's participated in this event would attend, would attend this finale. Um, obviously we'd have to pay, so I've got no issue with that whatsoever, pay for part of the event, the hotel, the travel to get, I, that's fine. But as long as we could uh, have a time frame and I could let work know, um, that'd be amazing. But I'm just putting it out there, um, because I, I think going from sim to a live event will not only showcase to not just the FIA, but drivers in general, the sim, sim racing can be another platform for motorsport. I mean, put it this way. Karting in general, as I'm sure you guys know, and um, definitely Praga, you guys will know, it is not cheap. And sponsors and funding for um, to try and make a career out of it. Um, our best guess on the top of my head when I tried working out back in the day was about 20 grand a year. Now that's no easy feat for um, us mere mortals. So that's why I believe sim racing is a unbelievable platform for motorsport in general. So I just thought it'd be uh, just just added uh, just an added um, charm, uh, an added benefit to this championship to take it from the best of these sim racing guys to actual a real racing event. Um, that's that was just my thought, and I thought I'd get it on a video just for you guys to possibly ponder over. But uh, that's a lot of rambling that's gone on again, and I'm going to apologise for like the umpteen time for say, saying this. But um, guys, 110%. If you love this content that I'm dishing out and you love my first win, um, my first very, very lucky win, please leave me a like, comment, and some sub. I cannot thank you guys again for the continued support. You guys have been phenomenal. And I'm trying to smash these out as much as possible. But the editing alone takes forever. But that's, that's no excuse, guys. But again, if you love this content, please leave me a like, comment, and sub. And um, we'll just see how far we can grow this channel. What I will say, though, guys, I do have a bonus clip for you. 
you know I love my bonus clips. So I'm going to leave you on a positive, leave you on the win, and leave you with a bit to think over for um, hopefully again a live event for the finale of this Praga Championship. But guys, peace out, and I'll see you on that next one.